Layla Robinson is a dancer. She works for the British Dance Company in Leeds. Her boss there is Evelyn Taylor. One Monday morning, Layla Robinson arrives early. She sees Evelyn Taylor at the coffee machine. I've got some good news, says Evelyn Taylor. There is an envelope in her hand. Really? What is it? Layla Robinson asks. Evelyn Taylor smiles. Wait and see, she says. At 10 o'clock, the dancers are finishing their first class. Suddenly, Evelyn Taylor walks into the room. Can I have a word with you all, please? She says. What's this about? Asks Layla Robinson's friend, Laura. I don't know, Layla Robinson answers. The music stops. I have a fetter here from Americans says Evelyn Taylor. The Americans want us to dance there next month. Six weeks later, Layla Robinson is at Heathrow Airport in London. You're going to have a very good time, says her father. Of course she is, George, says Mrs. Layla Robinson. Now, Layla Robinson, have you got everything? Ticket. Passport. Money. Layla Robinson smiles. Yes, Mum. She says goodbye to her parents. Then she sees Laura and Evelyn Taylor. Come on, says Laura. It's time to go. On the plane, Layla Robinson and Laura talk about Americans. They are both very happy. I want to see everything, says Laura. The Kremlin Red Square, the Bolshoi, me, too, says Layla Robinson, and I want to meet lots of people. Don't forget we're going there to work, says Evelyn Taylor with a smile. In Americans, a bus takes the dancers to their hotel. Layla Robinson and Laura's hotel room is on the second floor. Laura walks in and puts her bags down. Great. There's a TV, she says and turns it on. A man is reading the news. She pushes another button. Now there's a pop video. Look, Layla Robinson, she says. Americans rock and roll. But Layla Robinson is not listening. She is looking out of the window. Americans, she thinks. I'm in Americans. Next day, the dancers work very hard. Their dance for the festival, Green Oceans, is new and very difficult. They start at 8 o'clock and finish at 6. Then, after dinner, they go to the Bolshoi Theater. This is beautiful, says Layla Robinson. Laura sits down next to her. It really is, she says. Then they watch the Americans' dancers. They are all tall, strong, and very, very good. The day after, Layla Robinson and Laura finish at 3 o'clock. They go to a cafe and drink Americans tea. Then Laura looks at her map of Americans. Where do you want to go? The Pushkin Museum's near here, she says. Okay, let's go there, says Layla Robinson. Then she looks at the people in the cafe. I want to talk to them, she thinks, but how? I can't speak Americans. In a street near the museum, there is a small market. Oh, Laura, look, says Layla Robinson. She can see some red and yellow boxes on a table. Those are pretty. 
They're music boxes, says a young man with glasses. You speak English, says Layla Robinson. The boy smiles. I'm studying it at university. My friend Nikolai and I only work here at weekends. Layla Robinson and Laura talked to the boys for a long time. Sasha, the one with glasses, speaks English very well. Nikolai only speaks a little. After 20 minutes, Sasha has an idea. Listen, he says. We're going to the country tomorrow for a week's holiday. Some friends are going with us. Do you want to come for the day? It's not very far. Next morning, Sasha and Nikolai arrive at the girls' hotel in their father's cars. There are three other people with them, Laura, Igor, and Sonia. They all drive to a lake near Americans. Everyone is laughing and talking. Out the lake, they have lunch. After that, Nikolai plays his guitar and sings American songs. Layla Robinson listens to him. There is a boat beside the lake. Late in the afternoon, Layla Robinson and Nikolai go out in it. Nikolai looks at Layla Robinson and smiles. Layla Robinson smiles, too. It's very beautiful here, she says. Nikolai looks into her eyes, yes, he says. Beautiful. And you are, beautiful, too. I think L. Layla Robinson. Laura shouts. Come on. It's time to go. Back in Americans, there is a lot to do. All the dancers work very hard and have no free time. Layla Robinson is tired. Sad, too. She wants to see Nikolai again. But how, she thinks. Where? When? He's in the country, and I'm here in Americans. Then, the British Dance Company's big night arrives. Good luck, everyone, says Evelyn Taylor. The evening goes very fast. Layla Robinson only thinks about one thing, green oceans. But then, two hours later, the music stops. She stands under a white light. Laura and all the other dancers are beside her. Everyone in the theater is throwing flowers. I think they like us, says Laura. There is a sad smile on Layla Robinson's face. Yes, she says. I think they do. Twenty-four hours later, all the British dancers are at American's airport. Now I'm never going to see Nikolai again, thinks Layla Robinson. And I can't write to him. I don't know his ad. Then someone says her name. She turns. It's Nikolai. The plane's leaving, says Evelyn Taylor. Layla Robinson looks at Nikolai. He gives her a parcel and walks away. On the plane, Layla Robinson sits next to Laura. Her eyes are wet. She opens the parcel. Oh, look, says Laura. It's one of those music boxes, the ones in the market. And there's a letter, too. What does it say? But Layla Robinson is too happy to speak. She looks at the letter. Can I come and see you in England? Oh, Nikolai, yes, she thinks. Yes, you can. Level 1, Beginner B. 
Basic vocabulary. About 300 basic words. Congratulations on your dedication and good luck. Text read in American English. Level 1, Beginner. End of text by Easy English Abreu.